In my armadillo mon challenge video, I said this. Would you like to see me try something like this again with a different Digimon? Let me know. Drop a fat subby because maybe this could happen again. I'm always open to requests. Now, I got many good suggestions, but one stuck out. Sick video, dude. Definitely want to see you do something like this again. Maybe pick the weakest rookie or an Umaman and see how far you can get with them. Numamon? A champion? Well, surely he would be stronger than a rookie. I mean, he's a champion level. Well, Numamon is known for being one of the weakest Digimon ever. I mean, have a look at this official instruction guide on the original V-Pets. You see, Numamon eats so much ass from the rest of the roster on the original Digimon V-Pet. And this was before the attack triangle was made. But, let's see if he can prove us all wrong. I will take on the Tag Coliseum mode of the DM20, as it's truly underrated. And I can't really think of anything else besides the Digivice IC where Numamon appears. And, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to part with the Disco Demon. We have a hundred battles to get through, so let's not waste any time. Now, starting off, we have no real challenge as Numamon towers over all Digimon in the first section, so let's take this chance to get to know him. Numamon has a base power of 40, the virus type on the D20. This means we have an advantage over data types, but vaccines? They dumb for us. Now, if you've never seen a tag battle in action, let me run you through it quick. Both teams have one combined health bar, and the first to deplete the opposing health bar, or survive five rounds, wins. When starting, you need to do two things. First, time the first bar, and second, mash. Depending on what you do, you'll get different results. Your mon will either do a single or a double blast, or, more importantly, a crit. And this is critical. Why did I write that? For this run, as we do a lot more damage on the opponent. But, what is the best combination we could do? Well, I did experiment with a few combinations, and thanks to Humulus, most of the research has been done for me. However, the best combo, without a doubt, is something I've dubbed the two crit combo. Three arrows and nine button presses. This gives you two crits, one at the start and a second in the fourth round. This combo is so powerful and gives us a massive lead at the start. Sure, the opponent can catch up, but if the fourth hit lands, we completely close off the match. Sometimes the device even skips the fifth round because we're so far ahead. However, this doesn't always result in a win, and we do get a couple of injuries here and there from losing. Now that we are in Champions, you may have noticed something from the footage, especially if you've seen my Armadillo Mon Wormon Challenge videos. We are getting no XP, no items, nothing. This is a massive problem for us, as our enemies are going to get stronger and stronger, but we don't. We are stuck at the base power of 40. In fact, this is why I did tag. More customization options as opposed to single says the guy using just one combination to win. The two crit combo is not foolproof. We are starting to lose most of our battle, and it's only going to get worse when we get ultimates. The injuries are piling up. <gasps> oh he gads! My Numamon is dead! But what if I was to use a copy mod and disguise it as a Numamon? Ho ho ho! Delightfully devilish, Jordan. Now, I will admit I was a bit of a dumbass, and I kind of forgot about Copymon, and Copymon is a huge help in this challenge. You see, your Digimon are probably going to die, let's be real, and luckily we can use a Copymon to sub in one of our Numamon. It still counts as a Numamon fighting, so it's good enough in my eyes. With Copymon, we can now use one Numamon to fight and raise another, however, there's a few problems. First of all, I'm not using the version Revival, which means I have DP. Now I can restore it by putting my Numamon down for a 3 hour nap, or feeding it 4 pills. I realised that I could have used the version Revival and I'm a fucking idiot to be honest with you, I completely forgot about that. 
<laughs> I just wanted the green one so I could spell out Noom as the name. One more thing that I'm also worried about is having my Noomamon evolve into Monzemon. Now, luckily, this is not an issue because I managed to channel Digital Dream 09's Monzemon luck. <laughs> oh god! I try so hard and it's so mean! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. But I do have to make sure that Numamon stays asleep while I raise the backup Numamon. I do wish I thought of this idea sooner because the second Numamon does die pretty soon after the first. But you live in learn. More importantly, we're at mega levels. What the fuck? It's Numamon. Okay, I understand that maybe Numamon has some sort of secret power, but how the hell has Numamon managed to clear ultimates? I genuinely thought we would be stopped at ultimates, and the fact that Numamon is crushing Megas, it's actually genuinely shocking that I've managed to get this far. I'm over 50, which means we're halfway through the challenge. However, I'm going to skip ahead to one of the more important fights. Meet Rust Tyrannomon. Now, Rust Tyrannomon is an important Digimon, because if you don't know, the DM20 has five fusion monsters, and Rusty is one of them. This means he has the highest base power of any Digimon on the device. If Numamon cannot pass this, then we may as well stop the challenge here. There's no chance Numamon could clear any of the other fights if he can't get past Rust Tyrannomon. And he does. I'm sorry, Numamon defeated Rust Tyranno. I'm genuinely in shock at this point. The fact that Numamon is able to defeat a Fusion Mon is something I never thought I would say, so I'm already satisfied with this run. However, let's keep going. We're about to enter a section that I dub the Mystery Zone. And in this zone, we'll be facing monsters that are exclusive only to the Colosseum mode. Now granted, you can raise these monsters on your device if you hack it, but you need to know how to solder, which I do not, and they're extremely buggy. In fact, while I'm on the subject, one of the things that I've sort of neglected talking about in this challenge is raising more Numa. It's really time consuming, especially after your Numa one has died. In my Armadillomon challenge, I cheated to get the Digimon I needed, but here? Yeah, it's kinda awkward. I actually have to do work. As for the monsters in Mystery Zone, they're actually on determined power levels. Humulus doesn't actually know, and none of us know either. However, we're crushing the Mystery Zone. I haven't even had a Numamon die on me while I was here somehow managed to get up to Battle 95. Take a moment to just think. Numamon, the Digimon that eats shit, has just killed a few Royal Knights and a few Demon Lords and is now on the last stretch of a hundred battle gauntlet. Yes, I know some Numamons have died along the way, However, science has prevailed. Numamon is clearing this area. One by one, each one of these final battles are going down. Numamon is out of control. I genuinely, I am shocked. I, 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 I can't believe it. I thought at Ultimates this would end, but no. Numamon is crushing the Megas and crushing the Fusion Mons and crushing the Mystery Mons. And now, we're here. Battle 100. Alphamon and Omegamon. Or Omnimon if you're a Yank. How the hell have we gotten this far? This is the final battle. This has gone further than I ever imagined. And the DM20 is not really that advanced when it comes to the battles. I can't believe I'm looking at this. Now, this battle 
isn't so easy. We don't exactly get a free win here. In fact, our two hit combo isn't really doing justice. These two are very strong and have managed to wipe out a few Numamon along the way. However, one day, Numamon did it. Holy shit. You all thought I was crazy. You all thought I was insane. But look at us now. Numamon, the king of the digital world, has destroyed every single Digimon in the Tag Coliseum. What the fuck? Now, granted, it's a bit anticlimactic. We don't get a celebration. In fact, we get to start right at the beginning again against Palmon and Kunamon. Yeah, this is probably the most disappointing part of this challenge. I am blown away. Traxel, you have unleashed the God of Destruction. Now, I do have more challenge videos in the works. I have one idea that I'm really excited for. However, I don't see myself ever really coming back to the DM20. Maybe I'll do the single Coliseum with a different Digimon, but to be honest, I have a feeling if you could beat the Tag Coliseum with Numamon, you can beat the Tag Coliseum with any Digimon. So, why don't you give it a try? Just pick a random Digimon and go for it. Hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, because I'd love to see that. Anyway guys, if there is any particular Digimon you want me to try out, let me know. Also, if you don't fucking subscribe right now, Numamon will come for you. He will find you and he will make you. Okay, bye.